everybody. Um, it has been a while since I've, I've updated my channel. Um, I intend to start doing it more regularly. Um, some changes are starting to happen, and I'd like to keep track of them. Uh, today it is February 18th, 2020. Um, since the beginning of the year, I started not doing so well, got severely depressed, getting weaker and weaker. My face is slanting to the right because I'm on my right so often. I can see that my nose is a little crooked. That's not just because I'm laying here. It's like that when I'm sitting up. Um, it's a little on the comical, but yet the sad side. Um, and, uh, just really wasn't doing very well. Ended up losing, uh, access to my Facebook page. Um, so I can no longer post on there without a big fight with Facebook. I am, however, still a messenger, if you are friends with me. Um, then you can still contact me through Messenger. I didn't log out of that. So, so I'm still able to use Messenger. But, um, I was getting more and more ill. Things were starting to look a little scary for me. My oxygen was really not doing well unless I had oxygen, extra oxygen. Um, my doctor would not prescribe, uh, what I needed for my insurance to provide oxygen. And kept blaming it on the fluid buildup, which I'll get to in a second, um, for the reason why I wasn't breathing as well. However, um, I got desperate enough before I lost access to Facebook uh, that I put a plea on Facebook. And I'm like, listen, I really, really need this O2 condenser. Um, and... I need it now. And so I had several friends pitch in um, and pay for it. $350 machine. Um, so, yeah, I provided uh, through my friends and family. And I'm so very thankful. Um, and I am, I've been using it a lot up until just recently. Um, and I'll get to that in a second. Now, the fluid buildup. I don't know if my last video, if I mentioned that or not. A lot of people on Facebook are aware of it. Um, I started getting a lot of fluid buildup in my abdomen. Basically, uh, fluid was accumulating in my liver, backing up into my spleen, and then spilling into my abdomen. We are talking a lot of fluid. Um, at one point, I went... 11 days in between what they call paracentesis. Paracentesis is the actual removal of the fluid. In 11 days, and I had almost 12 liters um, that was removed from my abdomen. It was just fluid. Not supposed to be there. Um, and so up until, I don't know, a week, maybe two weeks ago, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And um, to the point where it was looking like I was going to need to go in once a week and have fluid removed um, or more. Um, however, last month, uh, and today is, today is February 18th, 2020. Um, last month, right around the middle of the month, um, I decided that... The only thing that I can do um, is change my diet. So I turned vegan after doing quite a bit of research on it and knowing what my pitfalls are likely to be um, and knowing that, like, typically they say, they say take it easy on the fatty thing, the good fats like the avocados and olives and things like that. But I'm hitting them hard because I'm so underweight. Um... And I've added extra salt to my diet. 
Um, <clears throat> and miraculously, there's some changes already. Um, it's been about five weeks since I changed. Um, I was still eating a little bit of meat uh, after I decided to go vegan, I think, once or twice because of meat that we had left over in the household. It's a little bit of turkey. Um, but then after that, I, I haven't, I haven't, um, eaten meat and I gotten rid of all dairy. Um, so no milk, no cheese. Um, I am eating a little bit of egg in my gluten-free bread because I don't have another option for my bread right now. And, um, so it's a a crutch at the moment um but i'm not eating eggs by themselves or adding eggs to anything um so what are the changes well as you can see i'm not on oxygen i haven't really felt like i've needed to for the last week and that's been confirmed by both my nurse that visited today and yesterday when they checked my oxygen uh for the paracentesis that i had done yesterday um the last paracentesis before yesterday was 10 days prior. Uh, so almost at 11 days. They only removed 7.4 uh, liters. I was in shock. Um, we haven't seen it that low. I mean, since all this began. And um, it was low. A lot less than what I was expecting. And I knew I, I didn't feel like it was filled up as much as um, as what I'd been dealing with. I mean, it was there. There was definitely fluid in my abdomen. But I didn't feel as uncomfortable. I was still able to roll over on my left. And um, so I thought, well, that's interesting. Um, today, my nurse, my home nurse, came and said that I don't look as jaundiced as I have been, which is typical of somebody who's having some liver issues. Um, that she, my skin looks white instead of yellowish, which I didn't even know that I was reflecting. Um, I, so that is interesting. But even more shocking is that they did blood work yesterday. They don't always do that when I go in for these uh, paracentesis. And they did blood work. Um, one of the things that they look at is my white blood count. And um, my white blood count has, is still in the toilet. <laughs> still pretty bad. Um, but it's been like 0. 0.5, 0. 0.6. It's supposed to be above 3, I believe. Um, to be considered that I have an immune system. And it's been 0. 0.5, 0. 0.6 for months. Um, last year, when they put me on the antibiotic because of my blood count, or my white blood count being so low, uh, I was bouncing to, I was like 1.3, and then the next day I'd be under, under 1 again. Um, so... Yesterday's results were 1.3, um, and so it could be a fluke, um, but I kind of don't think so. For one, it hasn't even been near that um, for my blood work that I had done, like, all last month and stuff like that. Um, and the other is that um, my platelets which had been in the 50 to 60 range, has now gone up to 136. Um, so, stuff is changing. Um, and I looked at the rest of my labs, which I don't know what everything means, but um, basically all of my labs think with the exception of one thing that had been low is still low but has come up um 
And so I'm really trying hard not to be like, oh my gosh, it's the vegan diet, it's vegan diet, it's vegan diet, because I know this could be a fluke. Um, and I don't want to be crushed by the fact that maybe this isn't really doing anything. Um, however, in the next couple of months, we should know if it actually is helping or not. Um, how wonderful it would be if I could get off of these antibiotics. Um, anyway, so that's part of why I want to go ahead and start, um, start trying to, uh, keep track, but I'm still too tired to be writing it all out. And really, I think a lot of people have time for a few minutes to watch video or at least stick it in the background. Um, and not have as much time to read blogs. Um, I also have a website. It is www.clothed or www.clothedinrainbows.com and I'll be posting my videos there as well. Um, I haven't done any writing on there in a little bit because it takes a lot to do it on my phone and I just haven't felt like it. Um, and so, uh, but I'm excited at some of these changes and hope to see it continue. Um, my ultimate goal is if I can get to my point, if I can get to a point of being at a stronger body, having a stronger body, then I think I would like to go back to the bee venom. Um... But it might be a little while before I can do that because I'm just trying to strengthen my body right now. I don't dare do a testing and then risk the anaphylactic shock. I don't think my body can handle that right now. Um, so I would have to wait until I feel stronger until some of my blood work is showing that I'm looking better. Um, and the only thing I can change for sure is my diet. So I'm sticking with the gluten-free diet, of course, and I'm sticking with the vegan diet now. I don't know what else to do, um, but it seems to be working. Uh, I think that's about it. I, I knew I would have to give a lot of background. Um, feel free to ask questions because, uh, I'm probably missing stuff. I don't even remember what I put on my last video and um, where I was. So, anyways, I hope all is doing well out there. Ta-ta-ta!